welcome back. Here are my top tips for surviving your night shifts. So firstly, the rules and regulations of the NMC guidance. So the NMC guidelines state that as student nurses, we must experience the 24 hour care system. So that includes nights, weekends, bank holidays, but they don't specifically say how many night shifts we do. I know certain universities will have their own rules and policies about how many night shifts you should do in a year. But according to the NMC guidelines, there's no specific set laws and rules about this. But, however, we do have to experience the 24 hour care system, so you are going to do a night at some point. There are some exemptions, so there can be reasonable adjustments put in place. So if you have any medical conditions, if you have any physical disabilities or anything like that, have a look at the NMC guidance on this because there can be reasonable just adjustments put into place for you. Check this out with your personal tutors, university, programme directors and the NMC guidelines online if you have a look for pre-registration nurses. Have a look. So following this, I'm here to give you some of my top tips for surviving your night shifts when it comes to it. And to be honest, when I knew I had to do nights in my first year, I was dreading it. I'm not going to lie. I love my sleep and I thought, oh my God, I'm going to struggle so much. What am I going to do? Because by 9, 10 p.m. at night, I'm usually asleep and I'm going to be at work and trying to keep myself awake. And I did panic about it. But I put some things in place to make sure that my tiredness didn't get the better of me and I could make the most of my night shifts. And I wanna pass on those tips to you and hopefully it'll help you. These are just my own personal tips. If you have any other tips that I haven't stated here, please comment below for somebody else to see because it might really, really help someone out. And what work works for me might not work for you. So it's just about finding your own routine and your own way of doing things and getting into those night shifts. But hopefully these tips are gonna help you. So on your very first night shift, the night shifts come in, you wanna get a really good night's sleep the night before. So go to bed as normal. Um, other people might advise to go to bed as late as possible. So the night before, prepare yourself for that night shift and sometimes that works. But just for me personally, I go to bed as normal the night before, but I get up really, really early the day of the night shift. So I got up at 5 a.m. on the day. I went about my normal duties as normal. And then I had a three hour sleep in the afternoon from 12 till three. I got up, I ate before I went on my night shift. And then I had a coffee before I started my night shift. But mainly you, you need to sleep before your night shift. So then the second day you will sometimes find it hard to sleep, but try and not let that distract you. I'm gonna come up with some of the tips for you to help with that hopefully. But make sure you sleep in the day is the top tip. You might find that you sleep easy after a night shift. I sort of struggled a little bit to start with, but then you sort of get into a routine of doing it, which isn't too bad. And this is gonna lead me on to tip number two, which is when you go to sleep in the day after your night shift, make sure you wear your eye mask, cover your windows completely if you haven't got blackout curtains, then you can put something over. I used to put towels and duvets and all sorts over my window to completely block out the light. So my brain thought that it was nighttime and it did help, it helped massively. Shut off any distractions, but if you've got families, and if you've got pets that pester you, anything like that, just make sure they're all aware that you really need this sleep and this is really important to you. And hopefully they will respect that and let you sleep. If not, find somewhere else to sleep, somewhere really calm and quiet that way you're gonna manage to sleep. My next tip for surviving your night shift is, Make sure you prepare your food wisely. So on your night shift, you don't wanna eat big meals because you, as you might have experienced already, you might feel really heavy, bloated, really sleepy after your lunch or dinner when you have a big meal and you're gonna to want to sleep. So my advice is get some snacks in so that you can snack throughout the night. With snacks, you want something that's gonna give you some high energy. So things like apples, nuts, fruits, little bits of salad, some carrots and hummus, little snacky things that's gonna really, really help you survive your night shift over big stodgy meals like pastas, um, carbs. You wanna do the reverse. As well as avoiding the pastas and the carbs, you wanna avoid high sugar foods like cakes and sweets. The rationale behind that is because those sort of things, they give you that instant boost of sugar rush, but then you're gonna dip, you're gonna drop again. So you want something more long acting, more sustainable. Also, coffee is most people's lifesaver. Have some coffee. But the next piece of advice is come to come into the end of your night shift, like an hour or two hours before you finish your night shift. Do not drink any caffeine at all because you want to sleep when you get home. 
my next tip for night shift is the 3 a.m. The dreaded 3 a.m. on a night shift. Many people that have done nights will know what this time means. There comes to a point in the night, which is 3 a.m., where you are going to just be like, oh, I just wanna sleep. I'm so tired, I can't do this. And that is a really tough time. I don't know why it happens at this time, but it's happened to me, it's happened to a lot of people that I know. Let me know if it's happened to you. But during that period, if you're really struggling to stay awake and focus and you're finding it really hard, get up and walk around. So get up, walk around, do some cleaning. If there's no patient, if all the patients are asleep, go out, clean the trolleys, stuck up the trolleys, do some work, just physically walk up and down the ward. Just keep yourself active so that you're not sitting and you're not drifting like this. And another top tip of mine is make sure you take your placement documents with you on your night shift because this is a great time for your mentor to get it filled out and go through it with you. Sometimes, depending on where you work on your night shift, it might be really, really busy. Like if you're in A&E at the weekend or something like that where it's non-stop, you all go, you don't stop that's okay but in some areas like where I did my night shift the nights were really really quiet so we didn't have a lot to do all the patients were settled we did all the cleaning we did everything and we were like okay what can we do now or I was like what can we do now but that is a time to go over your placement documents with your mentor and they can go through it and you can sit and do that so use that time wisely and my very last tip, which might sound silly, but it's the most sensible one, I think. Make sure after your night shift, get home safely. If you, you're driving home after a night shift, you're going to be exhausted. Make sure, you know, you wind down your windows, you stop halfway if you're feeling tired. Be really focused on what you're doing if you can. Just make sure you get home safely because the last thing you want is an accident. And also, if you're going by public transport, it's probably going to be really easy to drift off because of the motion of the train, the motion of the bus, and you might miss your bus stop which is going to be annoying, but it's not as bad as if you're in a car and you fall asleep. So maybe, or even if you do drive or you are getting public transport, see if your partner, if a friend, a colleague, or anyone that lives close to you could take you. Maybe someone could pick you up and just help you out a little bit. But if you are traveling home alone, driving in your car or on the bus, just make sure you get home safely. So that is it from me. Thank you so much for tuning in and I shall see you next time. Mm -hmm.